Hi, it's Dominic from SporanoArts.com. After a short hiatus, I am back with more tips for you guys. If you like these tips, feel free to go to my website, SporanoArts.com, where you can read over 30 blogs on wheel throwing. Feel free to like and subscribe to this YouTube page and send me an email. Tell me if there's something you want to know about. So this series of tips is going to be about doing large commissions. Recently, I just finished a 850 cup commission and I want to share some of the things that I picked up from doing that with you. So one of the most important things about a large commission, if you can, is double your budget, budgeted time, okay? Never ever under any circumstance accept a commission that needs to be a rush job because it's never going to be worth the money, it's never going to be worth the hassle, and most likely you're being set up to fail. I had this happen many years ago for someone I was working for an illustration and they gave me something to do on a Friday. They said they needed it on a Monday. Ruined my weekend, I did nothing uh, but work, rushed it, didn't come out well, and then they yelled at me and fired me essentially from the project. Basically, I was set up to fail, whether they knew it or not, whether it was a conscious effort or not, that's what happened. So always double the amount of time that you think you're going to need. So if you think it's going to take you a month to do a large commission, tell them you tell, say it's going to take two months. And that's a great way to sort of parse out your client, because if they say they need it a month, that might be, not some, that might be someone you don't want to work with. Now, I'm not trying to convince you not to take the money. But you have to ask yourself, is the money worth the frustration? Is the money worth the stress? Is the money worth the time away from friends and family? While I was working on that large commission, no one saw me. I was constantly working, holed up in a studio, either my studio or another studio I was working out of. Uh, Halloween weekend, Saturday night, everyone's out having fun. I'm sitting there working on the commission, right? So you want to try and give yourself more time than you actually need. Okay. You can see this in Star Trek with Scotty. He would always recommend like give a real longer time. And then when the captain came back and said, I need it faster, he gave him the actual time and he looked like a miracle worker. You kind of want to do the same thing. Worst comes to worst, you get it done faster. Boom, you look great. If, you know, well, actually, that's the best case scenario. Worst comes to worst, you get it done in the actual time you allotted. That way you don't look so bad. So definitely always try and double the budget of time that you think you need. So that's today's tip. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out. If uh, you have any suggestions on what you'd like to know about, please email me. It's sperranoarts at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe this video if you found it useful. You can always uh, go to my website, sperranoarts.com. Feel free to check out my Etsy store. It's Etsy backslash shop backslash Sperano Arts. And you can also go to my artist shop on Threadlist. Threadlist, you can see the link at my website where I have pottery inspired t-shirts as well as other things. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget, get into the studio and make something.